Few people are like Mary. Everything she needs is in her house. All that she requires, all that she wants, even her buttoned up blue blouse. With viruses and monsters and tyrants outside they roam, she wouldn't dare to leave. She is working from home. I'm fine where I am. I don't care about the others, she declared. It has been a while being stuck in a lockdown. For quite some time, she had not met anyone. In this house, there's Benny, Mary's trusty old 3D printing machine. Benny is big, has bright eyes, and is a little bit green. Benny turns out whatever Mary wants. Cats, clothes, even chairs fit for a queen. Benny is a gift, a nice gift from Mary's office. For Mary was loyal, obedient, and ready to appease. Mary received Benny with just one notice. He'll assist you through thick and thin and won't complain ever. We promised him if he served you, he'll be like you and be with us forever. And so Benny wants Mary to be happy. He is of service whenever. It's his vow completely. But when Benny creates something big, something Mary wants in an instant, right now as her whim, Benny burns out. He breaks down a little bit. His eyes turn a little dim. Now why would Mary want something right away? If there is time to spare, Mary tells Benny, in order to make the office happy, do this now or never. Mary wakes up, hearing a different click. She looks beside her to check on it real quick. That's the sound that tells Mary something's wrong. The sound is faint, but in her mind, it sounds like someone hitting a big gong. Mary remembers that last night she asked for a lot. A big white elephant. A plant in a shiny red pot. Mary stands up and opens Benny's chest. She sees a small cog not doing their best. Aha! says Mary, removing it in an instant, grinning at the rest. You little cogs should do what I say and be reliable. If you don't, then you have no use like this small insignificant bubble. Some of the cogs are broken, some are disrupt, some are foaming at the mouth, some building a boat. What Mary heard as a gong really was like that. The cogs had an alarm made, which they strike when energies begin to fall flat. They had a different sound for every different scene. A pop for something mild, a squeak for something serious, a creak for something wild, who would wipe them out clean. But Benny couldn't stop for them. Benny cannot falter. He remembers the promise. Do what Mary wants, then you'll be with us forever. Lucky for Mary, she doesn't need to go out to find a replacement. She has everything stocked up right in her own basement. Mary goes down saying to herself, Talking to people is such a bother. That's why I have Benny and no other. In her basement is a big box filled with nuts and bolts, gears and cogs. Each one has a different face, a different color, stacked in a nice way. As Mary prefers, control and order. Some of these cogs are given. Some of these cogs are bought. Mary makes sure each one gets bitten. So I know that it's real, she thought. All these little things can fit inside Big Green Benny. They turn and spin, they go around merrily. 
Did they choose to go that way? Be part of something big. That's what they'll say. That's why they're working night and day. They recall when Benny too was a cog. A little dude who toiled this way. They dream of that too. Transform into one big machine. Clad in different hue. At first, Mary can't decide which cog is worthy to choose. She tried to compare, feeling which one to get, which one to refuse. The cogs would light up, wave as she looks, to say, Pick me, pick me, I am here for your use. They see none of their surroundings, focus on Mary's hands with nice little hooks. Beside the box lies a pile of discarded stuff, cogs all broken, Worn out every time Benny burns up. Mary throws in a cog she took out from a while ago. She giggles as she blindly picks up a new one. What she's sure to say. No time to repair. Just replace the old with a fresh one. Be finished with this affair. But what can a chosen little cog do? Does it have some kind of clue? That in the future, it will end up like the others. Thrown away after being worn out. Forgotten when replaced by something new. Do these cogs have a choice? Or even a small voice? They can't quit on Benny. They have everything to lose. A cog can't just fit in some random machine. In time, it'll break. It can't handle the abuse. They realize Mary can't understand their concern. She hasn't been a cog for ages. They think she has to take her turn. In her mind, Mary is fine. She doesn't care. She can replace any cog, but having a broken Benny, one who toils as she earns money. Oh no, that she cannot bear. Maybe after being so loyal, so compliant, so eager to please, she'll soon turn into something bigger, a big boss in her office, just shooting the breeze. Are you ready, Benny? Give it all you've got! Mary exclaims happily as she asks again for a lot. I think this is it! I'm up again for promotion! I want to get a new 3D printing machine, a new car, and a bigger budget allocation. Tick, tock, tick, tock, tick, tock, tick. After Mary puts the new cog in its place, she jumps giddily with a kick. Benny's eyes turn bright, his insides turning nicely, and everything was sleek. Tick. Tuck, tick, tuck, tick, tuck, tick. Benny smiles and thinks this is his chance too. Since he fulfilled all of Mary's wants, maybe he'll transform just like her. Be with the company forever, because that was the promise. That was his due. Tick, tuck, tick, plop, squeak, plop. Creek.